Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, today I'm back with another Throne and Liberty video. Now, as you can see, I'm over here on my character. This is the Korean version, but the reason for the video is uh, today is because we are finally here. We have made it. Today is the day that we're going to get to jump into the global version of the game. Now, it's a closed NDA uh, beta test so I won't be able to record any footage or obviously stream it but I can of course come on to my Korean version and um, make a video like I am about to do now before I jump into this video please like share and subscribe congratulations if you've got into the closed beta test I'm sorry if you didn't get into it but this video here is a uh, basically I'm doing an introductory guide for the brand new players that are going to be able to get into the global test um, and of course, even if you're watching this in the future and we already have the launch of the of the global game, if you're a brand new player, this would, of course, you'll be able to take some of the, 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 the tips and information I'm giving to you. You can also take that. But if you're already playing the game like myself, this won't be for you. So, yeah, this is only for the brand new players. So what I wanted to just do is um, this is a global cross platform test. So what that means is we're going to be able to play this game um, on the Amazon game servers with PC players, Xbox players, and also PlayStation 5 players. So that in itself is going to be absolutely fantastic. Now, what I wanted to just discuss is only going to be a brief introductory like guide for you guys and girls because the closed beta test is only going to be up for seven days. Um, so it's from April the 10th, 2024, up until the um, 17th. So you're not going to be able to do like every single thing that you might want to do. And the, the basically the, the reason for this test is one, to obviously test the cross-play functionality. They want to make sure that the servers can handle as many players as possible with also PC and, you know, consoles. Um, they also want to test the actual Siege gameplay um, and the tax delivery gameplay, which is basically the PvP, it's Throne of Liberty's spin on the caravan, PvP caravan system. Um, you're going to be able to take part in levelling up. Um, you're going to be able to obviously do some dungeons, some open world bosses, and of course some PvP action, like I stated. Now, due to the fact that it's only a seven-day um period i do believe because they have stated over there on the website that they are going to allow players to just roam around on the first day and maybe the second day but it does state that at some point during the test they're going to help players so my assumption is going to be um because normally amazon game studios if you've played new world they have a ptr server and normally on the ptr server they give you weapons and weapon boxes and gear boxes so i'm going to assume um that it's going to be a similar situation here they're either going to obviously fast track our levels so that we can participate in the end game sieges and the end game uh tax delivery or they're going to give us like weapon boxes and gear boxes so don't stress too much about trying to, you know, farm the dungeons to get the best gear because you're not going to have, you're simply not going to have the time unless they do provide us the stuff. Now, what should you be doing? What should you prioritize in this beta test if you're brand new to the game? Number one, I would say the most important thing you should be prioritizing which weapon combination are you going to be going for? Um, you can see here on this character, I have a staff and i have a wand and tome so you want to basically play the game test out what weapon combinations that you're gonna that you that you enjoy the most because the way that it works in this game is you need to pump a lot of resources into your weapon to level up your weapons you also need to pump a lot of resources into the skills so if i press press here you can see here that you have skills and these skills start off as um different different like rarities so you have these are these are the, the, the epics levels i've got these to the epic level right so before that they're going to be you know green then it goes to blue you can see here this is still blue and then it goes to purple which is epic but you require skill books to do this and it's not as simple as just 
oh, I want to pump everything into this. Um, and then I just want to go ahead and swap straight away to another combination. You can, you can swap freely whenever you like, but you have here skill sets and you have weapon masteries. So you can see here, my longbow is seven, my staff is eight, my wand is six, and my dagger is five. And then the rest of these are zero because I haven't, I haven't even bothered to use these weapons basically. Um, now, the reason for this, the reason why I have, you might wonder why do I have multiple at different levels? The reason for that is because obviously I'm a content creator. So I've been testing different builds that I've been interested in so I can make some guides for it, which is on my YouTube channel, on this channel here. You can see the guides, I already have some uh, weapon guides up already. Um, so I've been, um, I haven't been mid-maxing on one combination just for that reason. But in the global version, when we get you know the full release, I am going to be hard focusing on one combination. Um, I'm most likely going to be focusing, well, staff is a must for me. I'm 100% going to be maining staff. Um, it's gonna be probably staff and dagger. And then once I've got those to where I want them to be, I will then probably dabble into the wand because I also love the wand as well. So yeah, so bear that in mind weapon combinations choose use this beta test to find your play style do you want to be obviously a tanky a tanky character do you want to be a full range dps build glass cannon style or do you want to be prioritizing uh, being a healer um, or do you want to go with a sort of you know a, a mix a mixed bag as, as you like where as at the moment i'm I've got staff and wand on this character so i can heal because you can see here i have healing capabilities the, the wand also does do a lot of aoe damage it's like a burst style damage so if i wanted to prior, prioritize being a healer i would actually be maining the wand and i would be using the staff as just as a backup for some dps but on this way i'm prioritizing staff as my main damage and then wand as a as a backup basically so that's the first thing I would say, make sure to try to find your combination because when you do go into the live game, when global is fully released, you're not gonna wanna re-roll um, at the beginning. You, you're gonna wanna pump your levels, you wanna get to you know, max level, you're gonna wanna put all of your resources into your weapons that you're using, your skills, and then later down the line, of course, if you want to then, you know, try out a different build, go ahead. But I would just recommend that you don't do it willy nilly, just like any time, because you're gonna set yourself back. If you just wanna play fully casually, then of course, by all means, go ahead. But if you wanna be semi-competitive, you're not gonna to wanna to do that. Now, the next thing I wanna to touch upon, in um, Throne of Liberty, we do have quite a lot now of uh, PVE, dungeons you can see here you have one two three this is the first early early level dungeons level 20 level 30 and level 40 now over in korea of course i don't know which patch we're going to be starting off in the global test the beta test um, nor will i be able to obviously discuss that but just assume i'm going to assume that we're going to have the level 50 dungeons as well we may not have the challenge mode, they may only have the basic modes, but I'm going to assume we're going to have, because we're having sieges and tax delivery, I'm going to assume we're going to obviously have these ones, and then I, I'm going to assume we're going to have Death's Abyss, Cursed Wastelands, Temple of Sorter, Butcher's Canyon, Tyrant's Isle, and then Cave of Destruction. We're not going to have these ones, because these are the brand new hard mode. These are tier two, basically, two star dungeons, and these are very, very hard mode. We're not going to have these in the beta test. I'll be very, very surprised if we do. But yeah, you're going to want to jump into these dungeons. These ones early on, they're very, very easy. Don't worry about that. Um, these ones start to get a little bit harder. But again, they're not like super... The challenge mode is obviously harder, but these ones here on basic are not super hard. Of course, for a brand new beginner, you're not going to know any of the mechanics so yeah it's going to be it's going to be quite fun um jumping into some of these dungeon runs with people that are completely brand new 
But um, don't worry, there's plenty of players like myself that know all of the mechanics. So if you ever get stuck, feel free to just ask. Um, I do have currently on my channel, um, where is it? I have a Death's Abyss guide. I have the mechanics for the boss fight on Death's Abyss on this channel. So go ahead and watch that. I have in the works, I do have, as you can see that there's a lot to do, but I do have videos planned for the full global release. I'm going to make videos for every single dungeon. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do guides for the hard mode dungeons yet because it's very hard to, to get into these dungeons and it's very hard to complete them. So I might not be able to straight away do guides for these ones, but I will have coming very, very soon guides for every single one of these dungeons, so stay tuned for that. Now, another good thing you're gonna to wanna to know, especially early on in this game here, this is the schedule. You have world bosses. So there's open world bosses here. Um, there's conflict versions and then there's peace versions. So it's quite self-explanatory. The peace versions are actually now instance based. Again, it depends on what version of the game we're gonna get, but the TLDR is peace bosses, Everyone can just join up, it's PvE, there's no PvP, everyone just fights the bosses together. Conflict is full PvP, so you have to also attack the boss, and you've also got other players that can that are going to attack you and try and kill you. So be beware which one you're going to be going to. And then it's the same thing for the events. The events have a conflict version, they have a peace version, and then they have a guild version of the game uh, of the event sorry and um, these happen all over the map so if i just go ahead and click this one you can see this one is going to be happening here if i click this one this one happens on this part of the map now the reason why i say you need to know this and why these are very very important especially early on early game you're going to be having the wolf one unlocked now if you see here when i was talking to you guys and girls earlier about the skills and that you need to pump the resources in this is where you get a lot of the resources from. You get all of the skill books here. The better you perform in these events, the better the reward is, as you can see. So if you come rank one, you get more books, more boxes, so you can pump your skills up faster. Um, and it goes up until you know it goes down in ranks. So just make sure you're participating in as many events as you can, especially early on, so you can try and level up your skills and then obviously level up your character and then also level up your gear as well. So very, very important. Events are very, very, very important. Um, I actually neglected the events early on when I started over in, over here in Korea. I didn't realize how important the, the events were. So take it from me, do the events as, as much as you can. Um, so yeah, so you have a schedule for the for the world bosses, you have a schedule for the events, and then you also have this here. This is an open world dungeon. And what I mean by that is, um, this is basically, this isn't an instant dungeon. You could just literally go in solo, or you can go in uh, as a party, as a group. I'll go ahead and I'll teleport over there just to show you guys and girls, because this is, it's amazing looks beautiful graphically it's fantastic um during the night though it's daytime right now you can see that by hovering your mouse over here you can see it says there's a one hour and 52 minutes left until night so what does that mean you might ask well when it hits night time the doors will lock and it will be pvp enabled it turns into a hostile a hostile environment where you can go ahead and kill everybody in there. And um, if you die whilst the doors are shut, you cannot re-enter, so bear that in mind. But throughout the day, you can simply, as you can see here, just do what I did, run down, come in, and you will see there's many mobs in here for you to kill and farm to your heart's content. You can come in here solo, you can come in here with a party, you can come in here with your guild as well. So yeah, that's very, very good. And there's also several of these um, if I show you, so this is the one of the ones here, Silas Abyss. Then we have the Shadow Crypt. Um, we also have, if I can find it, get my bearings right. We have Ant's Nest. Oh yeah, bear in mind, when I was talking about the nighttime, Ant's Nest doesn't have a door. 
So this one is always open, whether it's um, nighttime or daytime, this one will always remain open because there isn't a door. Um, the same for uh, Shadowed Crypt, there is no door. Now there is one that has a particular time, well not time of day, but a particular moment, an event which is the weather. This one here, Sanctum of Desire, the door here only opens if it's raining. So even if it's daytime, if it's not raining, you cannot enter this dungeon. So bear that in mind. But this is a level, this is a high level one. This is a level 50 open world dungeon. So don't worry about that too much. But those are things to take in, you know, bear in mind. And then this final tip, this is the most important tip I could ever give you. Right? Are you ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? The most important tip is have fun. <laughs> yes. So no matter what I've been telling you, no matter what any other content creator, any other players tell you about mid-maxing, about what you should do, what you should play, blah, blah, blah. The most important tip I could ever give you is just enjoy the game. Enjoy it for what it is. It's one of the most beautiful looking MMORPGs that I've played in a very long time. Graphically, the atmosphere, the sound, you know, the bosses, you name it. It's just beautiful. The weapons, the skills. I could go on for a very long time, but I just wanted to, to say this at the end is have fun. That is all I want to say for now, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, there's plenty more videos here on my channel and there's going to be plenty more videos to come. But yeah, enjoy the beta seven days. Play as much as you can or as much as you enjoy. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys and girls soon. Take care, everybody. Peace.